Poop. DC sucks. Poop. DC sucks. For those of you who warned us about it, um, you're right. We're wrong. There was no breezing through, as you know. So anyway, we're going to get out of here. We're going to clear out. It was great. It rained last night. I feel like that just washed us. It just purged us. We were in Alexandria and Virginia. We don't have to go back to D.C. ever. I'm never running for politics, so I will never go back. We don't have to go back to visit. Oh, I would like to see the Smithsonian. Okay, well, I'll get you a picture book. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> so, we are clearing out. Yesterday was not the beginning of the patriotic tour that I thought it would be with Annapolis Naval Academy and Washington, D.C. and the monuments. But today we are on our way to Harper's Ferry. And spend a couple hours there. Hopefully, it's not a uh, disappointment like DC was. I think we'll be okay though. It's I think we'll like it. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and clear out of here, um, and uh, we just yeah advise you if you have an RV, unless you really know what you're doing because you've been there before, don't go to DC. Park in like um, Washington State and catch a cab. <laughs> so Lindsay and I are driving this crazy interstate. In Washington or getting out of Washington it's like seven lanes across and I'm trying to I'm trying to get from one lane to the next you know like woe is me I'm in an RV and nobody's letting me pass or to get over like no nobody's not a single person it's it's amazing and so I started to realize despite all that we say I might be the biggest effing hypocrite in the world <laughs> I might not really like people and then we started thinking like well no we do like people and so we started making a list of the kind of people that we like and so here's here's what our thoughts were you want to start it off yeah okay we like camping people we love camping people if you're a camper we love you unless you're a crazy camper person we don't like crazy camping people what's the next one we like dog people oh we we really like dog people unless you're a crazy dog person. Unless you're a crazy dog person. We also like... We like... I like horse people. Horse people. Yeah. Horse people are great unless... Unless they're crazy horse person. I don't like the crazy horse people. Oh. <laughs> so really what's happening is that we don't like crazy people. And... What? Go ahead. Oh, I just feel like this is crazy town. Like I feel like... Yeah. I feel like there's... Other than Mandy and Sam and their family, I feel like there's nobody here that I like. I think everybody's crazy. When we say we're trying to change the world for good by connecting with people and loving on people and helping people, oh man, I feel, I feel, I feel dirty. <laughs> I feel like it's not true. I feel like I don't, I don't like people. Maybe, you I, like people more than I like people. That is true. That is true. But anyway, this moment of introspection is brought to you by uh, Interstate 495 meets 95 meets 66 meets, I don't even know, <laughs> uh, a junction in the interstate. And, uh, 29. 29, yeah. Meets, don't get off on this route because it's a toll road up. You got to yeah. exit. You can have an easy pass. Easy pass or three people in your HOV lane. Um, brought to you by the wonderful state of Virginia, and I think it's a Commonwealth of District of Columbia uh, cluster. So I guess it's par for the course when we look at government being this messed up. Their highways ought to be messed up as well. Anyway, we're going to get out of here, and we're about to get off on the road that takes us up to Gettysburg. Back roads? No, not Gettysburg, Harpers Ferry. Back road. Yeah, back road-ish. I'm sure it's going to be seven lanes across. That's my cue. Check you later. So we are looking for a place to camp for tonight that is hopefully uh, near Harper's Ferry or in between Harper's Ferry and Gettysburg because we're going to try to do Gettysburg tomorrow. And um, we know that there are some harvest hosts in the area. And we would prefer to do that because it's free. So I called the one that I'd really like to stay at uh, for tonight. It is a dairy farm they're organic and all this awesome stuff and I really want to stay there but we tried calling them yesterday we had no one answered the phone I was not able to leave a message so I called again this morning and it turns out that four other people have 
they've already booked a month in advance to stay there for tonight and they only have four spots available. So they did take my number just in case that those people are no-shows. Um, so hopefully we can still go there, but we need to come up with some backup plans. So I've pulled up uh, the Camp Indian app and I'm going to look through there through the area. Uh, that. Also going to pull up freecampsites.net and also um, possibly iOverlander. I have not checked out iOverlander for this area yet, so there might be some other free spots uh, to look at. But really, I really want to stay at the dairy just because it's, uh, I know it would be a place we want to support that we would buy something. Um, we try and we like the wineries and the breweries, but we're trying not to drink on this trip. So it would be really hard to stay at one of those places because we wouldn't want to buy anything. So the dairy would be a really cool place to go uh, just because it's organic and they do everything with raw milk. Uh, it's easier to digest when it's raw milk. And I'd love to buy some cheese there, maybe even some meat, but we shall see. So hopefully we are able to stay there tonight. But backup plans. Um, we need to find possibly a plan B and it is a Friday night. So hopefully we are able to find that and but hopefully number one we can stay in the area. So Gettysburg has a Walmart. I'm all about <laughs> that. But I highly doubt that even though I overlander says people stayed there within the last year I doubt that the Walmart at Gettysburg allows overnight camping because I could see everybody and their brother trying to camp there. So that is uh, also another backup, 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 like plan F is if we can't find a place, cruise up there and hopefully there's no signs going and talk to the manager as we've already showed you before. And maybe it is, you know, too good to be true and it actually turns out to be true. So Lindsay is, she takes the stress away from me of finding a place to camp. Uh, I take the stress away from her of having to drive this vehicle on the highways in D.C. And we're a great team when it comes to that. And we're still married. I figure. Yesterday we were on a cute little detour through Delaware. And here in Virginia we're on a detour from hell. <laughs> Except it's so stunningly beautiful and there are leaves falling right now. The colors are sort of here. We're in the space where Virginia and West Virginia meet out toward Harpers Ferry but we can't get there. It's like, they put us on this detour, but then they stopped showing us signs. And I've already turned the wrong way twice into one-way traffic. So we're just driving right now. Yeah, and that's kind of the really good thing about being called to wander is we really didn't know what Harper's Ferry was all about. I think we'll get there, but if we don't, then we're bringing you on this journey with us to take you to these back roads of Virginia, West Virginia area. And it is stunning, it's kind of, what we said we were looking for. I think the colors are probably a week or two away from really popping, but they're definitely here now. So we will get back to our detour and see what Google says. Because Google's, my Google is Australian girl, Google, whatever, what do you call it? I don't know. I don't know. My Google is an Aussie girl. <laughs> she does not like this detour. She keeps screaming at me, turn here, turn here. Turn right on the state road. Oh, here's a sign. Maybe, maybe we a have a sign. Sure sign. Maybe she's right about this one. The last one, she turned us on uh, somebody's driveway, I'm pretty sure. Okay. So, we'll see. We'll see what we got. But there's, this is, this is gorgeous. know if that is a French word please tell us because we're trying to teach you but you teach us too. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> we just learned something about Virginia time. We were within seven miles of Harper's Ferry and then and that was about 15 minutes and then we did the detour which we you know have told you about and we ended up with this. 20 minutes and 14 miles. After the detour of 30 minutes. Yeah, so Virginia time is really backwards. 
when it says 15 minutes, it really means about an hour and a half. <laughs> so if you're from Virginia, hopefully you don't have important meetings to catch or you figured out how to set them an hour and a half later than they actually take place because my goodness. But it's been beautiful. I mean, yeah. we keep laughing about this to tour, but we couldn't have picked a better place for it. Except I think we might be in West Virginia. We haven't heard banjo sounds yet. But we know there's trouble we can get into West Virginia. We turned down the wrong road. I'm not even gonna say the six finger <laughs> I'm sure, though, someone with six fingers can play a pretty mean banjo. If you're from West Virginia, we're not being derogatory toward your beautiful state. We've just heard some things <laughs> about your state. And I don't mean the country road, take me home. It's a great song. To the place. Should we add that to our playlist? We probably should. Yeah. All right, we're back on Virginia time. We'll talk to you later. Lindsay, it feels like a new day. Yeah, we are in beautiful Harpers Ferry National Historic Park, and it is beautiful. It is a yeah, very nice day. Sun shining, light breeze, a little bit of color in the leaves. So we are happy to be here. We're gonna go for a hike, go hike into town. From the park, it's about a mile and a half, a little bit over a mile and a half. And it's supposed to be a beautiful hike into town, and then we're gonna go explore the town, all without having to go and try to find parking in little Harpers Ferry downtown area. So on that note, we got the dogs all ready, got our hiking bag, let's go explore. We are approaching Lower Town after about a mile hike. The railroad. Lindsay, what river do you want to see? The Potomac. The Potomac? <laughs> this is more fun to say it that way. The Potomac? Uh, the Potomac. <laughs> the Potomac. We'll see the Potomac soon. I love this place. This is neat. Huh. There's the Potomac. And the Shenandoah. Shenandoah. This is so pretty. Want to go hike the Appalachian Trail? Yeah. It's, on, it it's only 1,200 miles this way <laughs> to Maine. You'll get to Maine eventually. It just starts with one small step. I don't know if you remember or not, but Lindsay's kind of afraid of bridges, like I'm afraid of bridges, but she's afraid of the ones you walk over. I'm afraid of the ones you drive off of.
This bridge leads over the Potomac and it leads into Maryland from West Virginia, from Harpers Ferry. It's also where the Appalachian Trail crosses. So if you're ever to hike that, it runs literally right through town, right across this bridge and on into Maryland. We are hiking up Public Way to get up to the church. And it's way up at the top, really pretty. But way up there, there's great views of the town that you can see. And we're gonna take you up there. We have the last few steps up to Jefferson Rock, which is the overlook over all of Harper's Ferry, the town, and of course the convergence of the two rivers. It's kicking Lindsay's butt. So beautiful. It's a great time of year to be here. This is the famous Jefferson Rock. Thomas Jefferson actually put the rock on his shoulders and climbed up all of those steps to bring it up here. It's really awesome. The Appalachian Trail just continues right on through town and then you keep on going. I didn't bring all my hiking gear to cover the last 1,800 miles of it, so I'll turn around in a minute. We're going to go see if we got a view of the city, because Jefferson's Rock didn't really have a great view. So Harper Cemetery sits up on top of Harper's Ferry. Doesn't overlook the town, um, but pretty cool old cemetery. And apparently you can still get in if you'd like to reserve your spot, which is a little strange. It is a pretty historic place and it is still an active cemetery. So we're hiking back from spending a couple hours walking around Harper's Ferry. The town is gorgeous, full of all kinds of cool little houses and stores and all the history here. Of course, the area is most famous for John Brown's raid on the U.S. arsenal. As an abolitionist, he was trying to end slavery, had a three-day uh, standoff, and then was defeated, captured, and hung for treason. So. That is the history of this place, really cool. From an RV standpoint, don't bring your RV into town. Go to the national park, you can take the trolley in. Although I haven't seen the trolley, so it's probably not happening right now. But you can take the trolley in or you can do this hike that we're on, which is about a mile and a half. Nice, easy hike. Even with our truck camper, which is pretty little, 26 feet, yeah, I would not feel comfortable driving it into town. There's a pretty steep uphill slash downhill and uh, just not really, definitely not um, RV trailer or class A friendly. Um, maybe they've got signs to stop you from going into town. So you can spend, easily spend a half day, maybe a full day in Harper's Ferry, but you don't need much more than that. And uh, you'll enjoy your time here.
Harper's Ferry. Yeah, I'm wore out though. Yeah, <laughs> that was a kind of a, it wasn't a terribly long hike. It was just on the way back, there was a lot of up. And we did a lot of walking. So, yeah, while so we're in town. Definitely the best way to do it is you make this your home base. Uh, unless you have a trailer and you can uh, unhook, uh, unhook yeah. and, and take your truck in. Or if you have a tow behind a toad and you want to ride that around. Um, but this is still the best place to make your home base. On that note, we got to leave this home base and go to our next place. And that is going to be where? I think it's called Waddle, Waddles Dairy. <laughs> Dairy. We got a spot. So. You got us in there. All yep. right. We're going to go exercise our Harvest Host membership one more time and uh, go camp there tonight. And you're excited because it's got good stuff. We'll go see about it and mm -hmm. uh, we'll get on the way. It's about an hour, just over an hour from Harper's Ferry. So we do have a little bit of a drive uh, ahead of us. But it is a great place because you don't have to spend too much time here at Harper's Ferry. This is a nice, easy little day trip. I mean, like we started in D.C., head out, spend a couple hours here, and then, you know, drive an hour to get to this place yep. to stay, so. Highly recommend coming here. It was definitely well worth the visit. And we are here the first week of October. Obviously, the colors change every year at different times, but the colors are just about to pop. Yeah. I think yeah, within two weeks it. or yeah, so, definitely. this place will be on fire with color, and uh, so good time to be here. You won't be watching this video probably until right about then, <laughs> but if you have the chance, make it on out here because it is spectacular as it is. And then with the colors of the trees, it's gonna be amazing. Oh, definitely. Absolutely amazing. All right, we're gonna get out of here. We've just arrived at Wadles Dairy and it is awesome. It's about 30 minutes northwest of Gettysburg and an awesome, awesome harvest host, awesome family. Just got to speaking with Lamar about the background to the dairy and all the things that they do here. He loves hosting people. So if you are a harvest host member, this is definitely a place you want to put on your list. If you're not a harvest host member, this is one of the reasons to become one because this dairy here is amazing. We're going to be going and checking out the cheese and the meat and all the different products that they have available. It helps support the small business. This is a family-run business, so it really helps to be able to contribute. And, of course, in exchange, we get an awesome place to stay. We're nice and level. There's a couple other campers here. Um, Lamar wants to accommodate as many people as possible, which is really an awesome thing about being a host. So we're going to go walk around, take a tour of the place, get some more amazing information about how we can be a part of helping out this small business and how you can as well.
harvest hosts, we keep talking about the affordability, that you're camping for free, and essentially that is true when you have the membership. But one of the, ba I think actually the best thing about camping uh, with harvest hosts is the people that you meet, the hosts that are awesome, and, uh, and the ways that you can support them. So this is an example of, of a place that we picked out intentionally because of the products that they had as a dairy with natural products, cheese that Lindsay should be able to eat and milk that we should be able to consume and actually really be good for us is something that we really wanted to support by buying the things that we would buy anyway. So this is a great example here at Wydale's Dairy where you can get ground beef, all different kinds of cuts of meat, the cheese, the milk, there's honey, there's maple syrup. It's all either produced here or locally in this area of Pennsylvania. So while camping for free is a perk, uh, we do want to encourage you to understand and know that you're supposed to support the places where you stay as much as you can. For example, we're not drinking, so staying at distilleries and wineries isn't our thing right now because we want to be able to support the business where we'd stay. But Harvest Host is amazing. We love it. We love all the opportunities that we have to meet these great hosts and learn about their businesses and how we can support them and how we can encourage you to support them as well. We'd love for everybody who's getting on the road to come by this particular dairy because the family is amazing. We've had an awesome time. Hey lady. What? You didn't tell me this harvest host was going to be so awesome. <laughs> I told you. I said I really wanted to stay here because it sounds amazing. Okay, it really is. And you also didn't tell me that it was going to be in Pennsylvania. <laughs> okay. That makes state number 32. Yeah, 32. 32. It's taken us a while to get here. 32. Okay. <clears throat> so we're in Pennsylvania, outside of a town I can't remember. But, Shippens, uh, Shipper, Shippensburg? Shippensburg. <laughs> around Shippensburg, and this place is awesome. We're hunkered down for the night, and uh, we're going to leave it that way. It's really cold. It is, well, it's 50 degrees. That's, <laughs> it's that's like, about half it's of what cold. it was a week and a half ago when we left Florida. Yeah, it, it's cold for us. So we're going to hunker down for the night. And uh, and we had a really good day, I think, mm -hmm. after we left D.C. I'm I, exhausted. Yeah, I think I'm we're all exhausted. Good tonight. So we will see you when we see you, Felicia. In the morning. We'll see you in the morning. Bye, Felicia. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our channel, like this video, and leave us a positive comment, send us an email, share our story with your friends, your family, those people who you think would care about what we're doing as we are wandering across the United States looking for awesome opportunities to have adventure and to meet new people and help people every way we can along the way. Thanks for being a part of our journey. We'll see you when we see you.